will show us how to arch the wall, add the furnitures into the rooms and the living rooms, place the sanitary appliances. We'll start this lesson with arching of the wall. You might want to ask why we need to arch the wall. The main reason we, we are doing this is because we want the wall to stand out. Just increasing the thickness of the wall or the thickness of the line denoting the wall is not enough. Because some people print their working drawings in monochrome that is black and white and without arching the wall, the lines denoting the wall might not stand out from the rest of the lines, thereby creating confusions and leading to construction error, especially if the designer is not present on site. So it is a good practice to arch the wall whether you are printing in monochrome or you are printing in technicolor. So before we start the arching process, you have to trim out some of the unnecessary lines. To do this, we have to start to by going to places where the wall meets each other and places where the wall form C junctions or places where the wall are forming L junctions. So I will trim out the unnecessary lines and when I'm done, I'll be back to normal. So what you have to do after I'm done is to compare your result to mine if you're having the same thing. Now I'm done cleaning, we can now arch our wall. I have to go to the home tab under the draw panel. You see this little icon here, which is arch. So when you select it, when you select it, a new tab will be created, which is the arch creation tab. So here now, this will have our boundaries, arch patterns, properties, and origin. So what we'll do here is select an arch we we'll select a arch pattern and at this place we we'll just select this anc 31 and when you select it you come to the properties panel here and give it a um give it a scale of 50 and hit enter so you come to this side here now and arch this wall when we are done arching this wall now you hit enter again and we launch the arch command again by hitting enter the reason why we are doing it individually is that when these arch patterns are done all together it will form a single element which will be difficult for us to do editing because if there's a mistake somewhere along the line we we'll have to delete all the arch we have done if we make them a single element so this you have to arch hit enter we launch the arch command again and arch the way you want to do hit enter we launch the arch, arch command again so this you have to keep doing till you arch all the wall so i will have to speed up the video now and when i'm done i'll be back to normal we can compare our results then
Now I'm back and I believe we should have the same result. So the next thing we'll be doing now is to create a layer for our hatch. So come to the layer properties there. And from here, create a new layer and call it wall arch. So give it this color of a of dark gray and click OK. So the reason why we are trying to do this again is not to just um, make the arch have the same color as our thick line just to distinguish it a bit so when you are done with creating creating your layers when you are done with creating your layers select this it's the home tab and put it on wall arch so when you are now click on match properties select this and match it to the rest of the Arch. So I think I miss out arching this portion of the wall. Match properties. 